My name is Jeff Proper and this is my 1953 Chevy Bel Air. This is the original six-cylinder 235 cubic inch engine called the Blue Frame 6 that was with the car originally in 1953. It was rebuilt and bored 030 as well as um, adding um, two carburetors instead of the original one carburetor which includes um, an intake manifold that is from the period, an Offenhauser intake manifold and dual exhaust. Outside of those changes, it is pretty much the same engine that was used in 1953. The transmission was upgraded to an M20 transmission, which is a four-speed manual transmission that uh, was actually came out of a 1967 GTO. This is called a Beehive oil filter housing, which was very popular in the 1950s. This is the oil filter. This is actually the power steering unit, which first came out in 1953. This was original with the automobile. This is the first year for power steering in the Chevrolet. It was in 1953, yeah. So it's a very unusual upgrade for the time. The dashboard is exactly the way the dashboard would be, with the exception of this bezel. I had the bezel um, chromed. That bezel is normally the color of the car. The roof was lowered three inches, and how that's done is to measure three inches all around on the A pillar, the B pillar, and of course this rear area here. Then cut around the window and also take out three inches on the window. So again, it's cut, lowered, move forward, and then you recreate or you put in a variety of different pieces of metal in order to get the roof to look like it came out of the factory that way. It's a process that requires patience and requires craftsmanship. All the chrome is, um, you know, most of it is original, taken off, polished, in order to give it as much of the bright work as possible. Chrome was a big deal in the 1950s, so um, I stuck with a lot of the uh, chrome style. Like, for example, you know, the door handles, that's what was done at the time. It took a year to paint. Once it was painted, I then decided to put flames on it. So I had sketched out the flames, again, on a picture that was taken to the car, then taped them out and painted the flames. I did it all myself, and then cleared everything so that the flames are what they call buried in the paint. You put your hand over it, the flames are the same level as everything else. The most difficult thing was chopping the top however the most satisfying. It took me eight years from beginning to end and again required a lot of patience from my wife. All my children helped so they were all part of it. My wife is happy with the car, she likes it. She likes more modern technology. <laughs> Without air conditioning it can be challenging. This is my 53 Chevy Bel Air Custom. <laughs>